Again, proving themselves, whether they won or lost, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the Invicta Fighting Championship is proving again that it continues to, to really raise the bar when it comes to uh, competitive matchmaking and fantastic fights. So, uh, again, thank you for being here. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because it's been a very long week and night for me. But uh, a lady who, of course, deserves a, a lot of the credit for helping to put all of this together. Would you please uh, uh, join me in welcoming to the stage the president of Invicta Fighting Championships, Ms. Shannon Knapp.
all I have to ask you to return the favor and change my life too.
lot of tendons. Uh, you don't know, I haven't checked. I mean, after the man was over, it's like, phew, the hair, so. Chris, one final question for you. Um, did Marlos Kunin feel like a different person in this fight from your last time that you fought her? Um, I noticed that you didn't want to engage as much on the ground. You, you made the stand-ups. Um, was this a different fight going into this for you? I think she um, she was more heavy, maybe. And but that I think she was same again. You know, stand up and she's right on bar, right hand, and on my arm. And but the, I feel she's more strong than the last time. But I've been ready for five pounds, you know, I'm very comfortable inside the cage. Parabéns pela vitória. Obrigada. Anybody else? Okay. Well, we will let you actually go. Yes. And then we'll bring on the next. Didn't quite go that way. So, um, how do you look at this for your next uh, fight against Bar Panchak? How would you change your fight uh, pattern and prepare? You know, I uh, I told you last time that we were doing the interview that my goal is to become a finisher. You know, I I'm glad everyone loves exciting fights, and I enjoy exciting fights, but I want to freaking finish. <laughs> that that's what I really want to do. And you know, I, I came a lot closer. I feel like in this fight, there is an arm bar that I almost had. There were a couple times, you know, and when I had her, uh, you know, a little, a little uh, wobbly, um, and so I'm, I'm going to work on being able to capitalize on those opportunities. I, I need to be. That's, that's the next progression in my goal of uh, becoming the best fighter that I can be is, is learning how to do that. And I also want to mention that Claudia will be facing uh, Carla Sparza. Anybody else have any questions for the back. Okay. Dave, 
Yeah, back here. Sorry, it's for Tisha. Uh, pretty tough fight today. Uh, what do you expect uh, coming up next? I have no clue what's going to come up next. I'm just really happy that um, I was able to you know, win tonight. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the next one, and I'm going to take it fight by fight. You know, hopefully one day you know, we can make it to a championship fight. But um, we're just beginning, so I'm going to take it fight by fight. Uh, Miriam, question for you. Did you have confidence that you were going to be able to finish in this fight, or um, were you thinking that it would kind of maybe go to the decision round? It seems like you've been able to finish your last couple fights, um, not being in any trouble or anything, but being able to push through. And when it seems like it could go a decision way, all of a sudden you kind of come out with these finishes. Is this something that you try to do, is finish your fights every single time? Yeah, if I don't finish the fight, then I don't know if I won or not <laughs> in my mind because I always um, doubt myself. So if it's finished, then I'm like, okay, they're down there and I'm up here, so I must have won. So yeah, then that works. But uh, yeah, I always um, lack confidence and I never uh, assume that I win. And even when I win, I don't uh, step away from that win like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, no, I need to look at tape and I need to see where I made mistakes because that's going to be a problem in the future and I don't like that. So I'm kind of a, just negatively obsessive. <laughs> so um, yeah, does that answer your question?
Great fight tonight. Both you and Rose put on an amazing show. I was very impressed with both of you tonight. Um, were you surprised that Rose wanted to, or actually but I knew that she came from a martial arts background and she had a good stand up, but we just weren't able to see it yet. So um, her actually doing it with me was, made it really fun for me. I liked that the most of the fight was in the middle of the cage as opposed to being on the cage. It was a lot different from the other fights I had and her skill level was a lot different. So um, it was an honor to fight her and to beat her. It was really nice too, but um, I'm just really happy about the fight. And I think it went how I wanted it to go. Follow up on that. There were a couple of times when Rose went for submissions, and of course, we all saw the flying arm for our last time. Was that something in the back of your mind worried about, or did you feel like you were never in any trouble? Anymore? I felt like I was in trouble in the first round with the arm bar. That was the scariest moment of the fight. But um, actually, when she moved it like this, about underneath her arm, I thought it was going to get even tighter. It was tight, but that actually made it a little bit easier for me to get out. So I was surprised that I was able to get out. It made me more confident in my jiu-jitsu now, I guess. But um, it was a really tough fight. That was the only point where I felt like you know, I was in trouble. Besides that, I felt very comfortable. And uh, it was definitely a tough fight, but I felt really good about it.
you could say all these things like I didn't do this, I didn't do that, but um, and and the one thing was I didn't do as much jujitsu technique as I did in the other training camps. But you know, like there's a thousand different things that I could have done different. But so what? You know, I was myself during this fight, so I wouldn't take it back for nothing. Doug Rose won't change for nobody. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks though. <laughs> it sucks. Despite not, yeah, it sucks. Despite not coming away with the win tonight, um, were you happy to be able to stand and strike and, and showcase tonight? I know Tisha was happy to strike with you, mm -hmm. and you guys both had some really awesome exchanges. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm kind of like it's a bittersweet feeling. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching the tape, but I'm also hating it because I know there's things that I'm gonna be like, dang, why did I do that? But um, I don't know, like I. I the one thing that I can take from this are two things. The the main things that I couldn't um, falter on or I couldn't second guess it is that never again, but also I was myself and I had fun. I was in that moment and like there was a reason for everything that I did. So um, I'm not gonna second guess that, but they have to say that there's split personalities and I was gonna second guess that. But um, you know, <laughs> Like I said, never again, and uh, I had fun. You just stumped it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it felt good. Like I mean, every and she was tagging me in the face, but I didn't care, you know. I, uh, you know, she's punching me in the face, and I said, so what? So what? You know, I'm a, oh, you gonna hit me with four? I'm gonna hit you with one. You really are, you know. And uh, you know that that wasn't enough. So you know it. But like I said, that that uh, mentality and just thinking on this, it, it definitely gave me some uh, good good feelings and good thoughts. But at the same time, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. It fucking hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it hurts, but uh, it, it feels good at the same time. Fight for and to be excited about. So, I mean, come on, look at these girls. 
girls. You know, I mean, can you imagine what a show with all these personalities that we have here in Victa? I mean, that show's going to be amazing. So. Well, the greatest thing is that we made on this video. I'm just kind of happy that it's up behind you. So, uh, with all the craziness. Successful show. Once you, you know, you get done with that, I think you're relieved just because, you know, everything came together. I mean, fire's missing away, lights falling off. I mean, that's old school for me. You know, it happens all. You know, it always happens. Something's going on. This one kind of hit us quite a bit, <laughs> but you know. We have a great staff, a great production crew. We're able to move things around. Uh, we got Jim, got another fight in there, so it could have been so much worse, you know, by far. And there's always a silver lining. I mean, the the main card just stole the show. As you know, I mean, I, I've always said this, and I'm going to give extreme credit to these athletes because a matchup on paper can look fantabulous. But it's who comes to fight in that fight. And I can always go out on a limb and say, this is going to be an amazing show. Because I know they will not let me down. Because they love what they do and they're doing what they love. And this is their home. These are my business partners, you know. Because we're all in this together. So. Uh, regarding the stream, I, didn't, I heard nothing but good things about the stream. So maybe like one complaint. Did you hear any complaints about the stream? I know. Okay. No, I mean, you know, tonight was so busy with everything going on, and, you know, I'm watching timing, you know, and, you know, there's a lot more pieces to the bustle when you do television. So, uh, you know, and you don't ever want to have to move about to go after the main event. So I really didn't even look at my phone, you know, to see what was going on with Twitter and all that. Nobody called me. You know, I put my phone number out on the internet, so everybody's got it. So nobody called. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, what I'm hearing from, you know, um, the streaming tech, that everything went flawless. So. Well, uh, can you speak a little bit to uh, how Tamika Burns is doing and what would be next then for Diego Holmes since she didn't get to fight tonight? Yeah, uh, as far as I'm aware, you know, she's icing and things like that. You know, I think she's going to see the doctor, you know, probably Monday because it's going to Sunday. But, uh, you know, she's very sad, which, you know, I understand you. You get that shot, and then that shot is, you know. She looked extremely upset. Oh, yeah, I felt so, so bad for her. But, uh, you know, I, I spoke to him, and, you know, she's doing well. So that's a good thing. I mean, we won't have any news on that until, you know, later this week. Of course, you know, she will get paid. You know, we always take care of the athletes. That, you know, they show up to fight, they show up to fight. They can't, and we pay them. That's the decent respect for them. And what would be next for India Gomes? Maybe Cyborg. That was my thought. Maybe. You know, I'm going to have that time just to think about it. But, you know, we're going to take a look at it. You know, we still have Julia Butts sitting out there. You know, and that's a matchup that we have placed together. And we'd like to see, you know, that would have been a contender. So. Shannon, is October the next day? Yeah, probably. I mean, that's generally how we run. Uh, you know, things could change. You know, we could uh, go to we could go, you know. So, yeah, I know I seem so on the fence right now, but we have so much going on, and, you know, I just need to step back for a second and take a look. This has been a really incredibly busy last six weeks, you know, to get to this point, so. So, you've talked many times in the past about the cordial relationship between the two of you Bearing that in mind, is there any chance we could see more in Taylor fight in both places, or is she strictly Invicta? Oh, she's our signed athlete right now, so, you know, I mean, could that happen to me? Yeah. But, but no, she's definitely our signed athlete. But you wouldn't object to her fighting for both, or you just only. I you know we'd have that conversation, but not the media. I'd have it with them. <laughs> so, no disrespect, but yeah, I mean, I try to keep those things, you know, between. Out of the media. <laughs> okay, well, if that's it, we'll wrap it up. And once again, thank you.